Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Today, this is going to be um, a podcast that's going to change a lot of people's lives. Number one, I have a sales channel, so I know there's a lot of salespeople right now that are looking for level 10 earning opportunities to make a lot of money and have a great life. Well, cool, we're going to talk about that and so that this is for you. But then also, we're going to talk about if anyone is in the solar industry, and I have so many solar companies and teams that are out there, you guys follow my content. Um, this is Max with Meraki Solar, and this is Justin Wolf, right, which was the CEO of Meraki. Yeah. And there's been some changes in their company, and we were talking about it. It's super exciting. They're growing like this, and I know a lot of people in the world, they're not growing like that, and they're in the solar industry. And so today, we want to talk about an earning opportunity for anybody who wants to get into solar now and grow, make a lot of money. This is the team. You can do it here. But secondly, if you're in the solar industry, and you have a team, you need to listen up really well because we're going to educate today if you have a solar team um, why you might want to really consider doing what they did. And you can do it with Meraki. And so, Max, I uh, love you. Justin, appreciate you being here. Nice to meet Justin's you. first time in Scottsdale with us. We were at Meraki Con last year and uh, I met him. This is Max. I know you guys have met Max. Max started Meraki you with, know, Justin. with Justin. With Justin, 10, 11 years ago. It's been a while, not quite. It seems like it's, it seems like it's <laughs> 2016, yeah, 2016. Yeah. Well, it seems like a long time. I mean, you're still in your 20s, right? Yep. You're 29? Yeah. yeah, 28. Yeah, 28, yeah. So they, But they started a long time ago, and there's been some changes. And by the way, like, I love that there's always change, mm -hmm. okay? It's either, you know, ad adapt, right? You know, overcome or get crushed. Yep. And what did you say? Change when you want to or you're going to be forced to change lander? Is that what yeah, you said? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, you're something either, like yeah. that, but you can either change. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll deliver it later. Okay, cool. All right. All right, so Max, why don't we start out with uh, you, maybe tell a little bit yeah. about you and Justin, and then also, like, you know, what Meraki is, and obviously about, like, how it's such a cool time and an era um, to, to know this information that you're about to share with everybody. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that are in the solar industry that are really hurting right now. They're getting their butts kicked, yep. and they're good people. Yep. They, they, they don't need to be getting their butt kicked, and they can do something about it by listening to what you yeah. guys are about to share with And them. they should be killing it. Yep, that's yeah. right. So I think, you know, first of all, like you mentioned, uh, introducing Justin. So Justin Wolf, who originally recruited me to solar uh, from the very beginning. So last podcast, I talked about how I was in college. You know, I wanted to be a doctor. That was my direction, my path. And then Justin recruited me uh, out from college to start knocking doors as a door-to-door -door solar salesperson, and that's, that's how we started. Just, Two of us with one other guy, uh, Jacob Humphreys, who hasn't been on here before, but just knocking doors from the ground up. So that that's how this all started. Mm -hmm. Justin was uh, the original, you know, put us all together, which has been great. How old are you, Justin? Uh, 34. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you're the old grandpa. Yeah, dude, old, I know. Old I'm dude. freaking old in the group. Yeah. <laughs> he still looks 25. Yeah, so yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. If I shave this off, I'm 18. <laughs> I love that. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, Justin brought me into this originally. And like you said, we've adapted and changed a ton. So when we very first started, we were only sales. We would partner up with multiple solar companies and, um, and, and kind of select who we wanted to use on each project. That was a terrible, terrible decision. <laughs> it, it really didn't work out well. It's not good to have multiple wives right i mean yeah, if you want to you want to grow a team with. you want to partner with Never somebody like well. it doesn't work well to partner with a bunch of people right yeah. so uh so we learned that quick we ended up partnering with one person we had a ton of growth and then that person ended up going bankrupt and failing and so we started our own uh, operations kind of out of necessity which turned out to be a great thing we had a lot of flexibility we could build the offering that we wanted to give to the sales guys we had all the control and it was kind of an amazing thing mm -hmm. um but we've made some other big changes recently since this last uh since the last podcast we did um that have that have adjusted that so that's kind of what i wanted to talk yeah, about let's talk with about the it. podcast today and, and why you did it and really what a lot maybe what some of the mar a lot of the market's going through yeah mm -hmm. so i mean i think um i just think the landscape has changed a lot in the last eight years as it does with every industry but when we first started there was a lot of money to be made as a solar installer so the, the, the installation company was making a ton of money and the sales reps were making less. Uh, that kind of shifted throughout our experience to where, you know, the, the solar company was still making good money. The sales rep was making more money and it kind of continually the sales reps have just taken more and more of the pie, which has been great. The sales rep should be making money. Um, but kind of your options for the last eight years has been you go into a market, let's say you want to get into solar, say you want to get into solar in Scottsdale, right? Mm -hmm. I can go team up with a tiny little mom and pop shop that historically has been the cheapest. So if you're a homeowner and you want the cheap budget option, you find a little mom and pop shop that's got one crew and that's your cheap option. Well, as a sales rep, you can do the same thing. If you wanna be selling the cheapest thing 
you go find the little mom and pop shop and you sell something cheap, mm -hmm. right? It's affordable, it's probably good, but it's a mom and pop shop. There's no growth. You're not gonna build a huge team. Right. We tried to partner with some of those in the past because they're cheaper <laughs> and they were like, dude, I got one truck. Like, yeah. You're gonna give me 40 deals, I got one truck, I can't do it. Yeah, <laughs> so that didn't work. So that's when we started it ourselves because we wanted to grow. So you either go partner with this mom and pop, who's cheap, or you partner with a larger company that wants to grow. Mm -hmm. Somewhere you can build a big team, you can make a ton of money, but they historically have had a premium. So they take more of the pie because growing is expensive. They gotta build out offices, they gotta expand, they gotta they buy more capital. than one truck, yeah. right? They need the capital, so they took more of the pie. So as a homeowner or a sales rep, your options historically were mom and pop for cheap or a larger, more you know sustainable, strong financially company for more expensive. And that was kind of your cost of wanting to grow. Mm -hmm. And that was the way it was for a long time for, I don't know, to the last nine out of the last 10 years, basically <laughs> what's happened this last year for a number of reasons. And, and Justin will kind of jump into it later, but that's totally shifted. So we, you know, we've been trying to uh, shift with the market, lowering our costs, trying to get as lean as po as we possibly can, so that the offering to the homeowner and the sales rep is very aggressive. Uh, but there's this company out there, Freedom Forever, that uh, they're the number one largest residential solar company in the country. They're the largest privately owned uh, solar company in the country, and they do 10% of all the solar volume across the entire U.S. They're That's massive, very impressive. right? They're massive. So we wanted to partner with them in a couple of states. We did, you know, we wanted to go to Puerto Rico. We wanted to go uh, to the Midwest, but we didn't, we didn't want to, we didn't have the capital to expand ourselves. So we're like, hey, we're going to partner with them, and we're going to go try out these couple states, and in those states only. We want to keep our, we like what we had. We want to keep our company going where we had it. So we went out, and we met with them, and um, and it just didn't make any sense to continue trying to do it ourselves. And like I said, Justin's going to jump really into the numbers because he's our numbers man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but the bottom line is that picture that I, you know, I painted, you could either get the more expensive option if you want to grow or the cheap mom and pop with no growth that is completely flipped on its head. Now you can go to the biggest, the safest, the largest, the most sustainable, the most growth company in the entire country mm -hmm. and get literally the cheapest, best baseline that there is out there. Yeah, the and then that's price. it. That's freedom forever. So, Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you hear us talking about this option, opportunity as an individual, right? So if you're watching this and you're like, dude, I'm ready to make more money than ever. Okay. That's you go down to the description box, click on the link. Okay. And there's going to be a spot where it says individual, fill out your information. Their team will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you have a team, okay. If you're in the solar industry, if you got a team and you're like, man, you know, I want to make more money. I want my guys to get paid more money. Dude, I want to grow. Like, that's it. Like I'm asking you a question. Like, are you growing? If you want to grow, this is your chance. I'd love for Max and them to personally reach out to you. When you click on that link below, it's going to say, I have a team. Okay. They're going to reach out to you in the next 24 hours. And they'll kind of run th through some numbers with you. And dude, it's a no brainer. This is a day to change your life. If you're wanting to get into sales with these guys and make a whole bunch of money, or you have a team and you're wanting to say, Hey, what would that look like? Let's play this out. If I was running with them, go guys, fill that out below. Click on that link. You guys, this is a time to change your life. I love you guys. Fill that out. Let's get back to the video. And if somebody wants to join that, if, or if they're, it, my bad, most people in the beginning are like, let's play this out. Like, what does that look like for me? Like, what would change? What's, yeah. There's going to be a link below, guys. It's just a description box in the, on this YouTube video. You just click on it, and then literally you'll reach out and have a conversation with either one of yeah, you guys, right? For yeah, sure. 100%. On what that looks like for their company, where they're at, because you guys yep. just did this with your whole company. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I want to give Justin the opportunity to talk about why we did it. Obviously, as a CEO, yeah. like he was the you know, driving factor of this shift. But I think it's more important than it ever has been. And in the last 10 years, so many people have gotten into solar. So many people have made a ton of money in solar. In the last year, two years, there's a lot of people that have left solar. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they're leaving solar is because they're not getting paid. Things aren't happening the way they thought it was going to happen. You know, shit's hitting the fan and they're having a bad experience. It doesn't, the solar offering, the solar product hasn't changed at all. It's still, it's better today than it ever has been for the homeowner. It's better today than it ever has been for the sales rep. But what the difference is, is these sales reps are in the wrong place. Yep. So they're on a team that they shouldn't be on. I mean, it's hard for them to know that out of the gate. They don't know yeah. who to sign up with, who to choose. But if you're in the right spot with the right product, it's better than it ever has been today. Literally to, better than it was eight years ago when we started, today Way is better. the best. So part of why I wanted to come on here so Justin could break down why we made this switch, why the numbers make so much more sense, why we kind of gave up you know, our company uh, to do this because you, you need to be in the right place for growth yeah. and you need to be in the right place to get paid. So yeah. for all these guys out here that are in solar or they're, 
They're not sure if they want to stay in solar because they're having a bad experience currently. It's not because it's solar. It's because you're in the wrong place. You're on the mm. wrong team. Mm. And so I, Huge. you know, I love, I, I, I love the podcast last time with you. I always love meeting with you and, and obviously and your audience that reached out to me last time was, dude, they're ready to go. They're yeah. on fire. Yeah. So everybody listen to what he's saying. This is super important. By the way, if you're not in solar, okay, that's, that's good for you. If you didn't, if you didn't get to experience the last nine years, okay, cool. No right now, he said, it's more it's money, amazing. it's better. You just have to make sure one thing's right and you're in the right vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying it, he's like, dude, I've done this for the last 10 years, listen to me, Andy, listen to you guys, just right vehicle, okay? It's better than it's ever been. It's better than last year, it's better than eight years ago, it's better now, everybody made a ton, you can make more now. Gotta be in the right vehicle, okay? So like, everybody just trust me with this. If you're not on their team, okay, and you're like, well, yeah, no, 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 you don't understand. Stop. Stop. You got to be in the right vehicle, okay? You may be the right person. You may have the right information, but you may be in the wrong vehicle. Maybe you work hard. Maybe somebody didn't pay you, but that's not these guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, it's like getting your heart broke by 10 girls and then finding your wife. <laughs> it's like, dude, there's yep. one out there that was made for you. This is your wife for business, okay? So if that's you, if you're an individual, right? Or you're a team, do me a favor, drop the ego for a minute, okay? Like just understand what's on the other side of you going down to the description box, entering your information and having one of them reach out to you the next 24 hours. I promise you, there's one decision that will change your life forever and this could be it right here, okay? Yeah. So um, Justin, talk to us a little bit about yeah. why you made the changes and then also like, before you do that, what do you see other companies struggling with right now? So there's a, a ton of things. It's a myriad of things. I think the reason there's so many companies that have gone out of business is because they're not just facing one issue, they're facing like 10. You know, one of the biggest one is just the financing. So financing has changed a ton. The lenders are not cash flowing companies nearly like they used to, and they're also penalizing them for not getting jobs done within specific time frames. And sadly, sometimes they're even coming up with reasons to penalize them because honestly, they're struggling. Right, interest rates uh, rose very, very quickly. It puts a lot of those financial companies in in a tough spot, right? And then a, t a ton of these installers were relying on the upfront funding from these finance companies. That all went away. It was oh, gone. Man. Meraki was honestly didn't affect us a ton because we never took that upfront funding anyways. I always viewed that as something as like fake money. And so yeah. I was like, like I'll wait till we're installed before we did anyways. And so that wasn't big for us, which was great. Uh, but what was big for us was just the pricing in the market. So as those interest rates rose really quickly, the offering to the customer just wasn't, go down. yeah, it wasn't as good, right? You weren't saving people as much money. And I think that is what probably hurt us more than anything else. Like financially, we set ourselves up well, cash flowing well. Yeah. It was just that offering wasn't as good. Um, and so we were looking to try to expand. Like he said, we're like, hey, we're looking to expand in a few more states, but I don't want to spend the money to do our own operations because we didn't have a ton of sales looking to go in those states mm -hmm. but we have a few teams that want to join us they love our they love our culture they love us but i'm like look i'm not going to invest in a warehouse and all this stuff for this one team i don't know if they're going to do good so we went down to california met with brett the ceo of freedom met with solar pros their ceo i was very impressed by them my whole pitch and this is funny because we went back and forth for like four years i kept pitching them on like hey let us just use you outside of our markets let us use you outside of our markets and they were like no we want exclusivity and I had a few guys come to me and be like, look, just do a different LLC, you know, that's exclusive and kind of go under the radar. And I was like, that's not how I do business. Like if, yeah. if I put on a contract, I'm exclusive, like I'm exclusive, like I can't do that. And so yeah. I kept pushing back and forth, back and forth. I went down to there and I was, gonna, I was gonna sell them. I was like, I'm gonna sell them on letting us do this. And so we got there and then they showed me their numbers like, look, shut it down, join Solar Pros. And I was like, no, nah, I'm the CEO, dude. Like. I'm not gonna shut it down and join Solar Pros, but uh, <laughs> but I, I sat down with them, and uh, and they showed me their pricing. Just equipment alone, and the solar guys will understand what this means. But there, we were big. We were doing a thousand jobs a month, and uh, they were beating our equipment pricing by fifty cents. So fifty cents. That's it was it was it, so much money, like just insane amounts of money. I was like, dude, fifty cents. I knew they were beating us, but I was like, dude, fifty cents. Like this is crazy, uh, and I was like, "How are they doing that? They're they're their own distributor. Everything is direct. I mean, when you do ten percent of all of the sales, like you're reaching a point that it it's almost impossible to compete, right? And our employee costs, which we were lean, we were lean with our employee costs, and they're beating our employee costs by thirty cents. Just those two things is an eighty cent swing, and I had to be real with myself. I'm like, look, solar 
solar is a commodity, right? We're all selling the same panels, right? We're all selling the same equipment, right? Sometimes you have a little bit better equipment, a little bit better panels, whatever, but Freedom has that. They have the best equipment too. They have the best panels too. They have the best stuff and they're warranting all that. They're guaranteeing the production on it. Like if you're out there saying, oh yeah, but we're selling a, a quality what product. No, you're not. Like you're not, you're selling the same product they are. And in fact, you're probably selling a worse service or maybe the same. So what are you selling to the customer? Like why, why are you better? The truth is you're just trying to come up with a reason that's not true. If they're beating your price by that much, they're a better option for the customer than you are. And so I honestly had to eat my pride sandwich. I was like, yeah. dang, like they're better than us. I remember we had some hard talks right after we met with them. And I was like, look, Meraki was founded like originally, because sales changed our life. Sales changed my life. You know, sales changed his life. Yeah. I would tell everyone, look, you work more than you do anything, right? If your job sucks, most of your life sucks. If your job's amazing, Man. most of your life is- I haven't heard it said that way, but you know, like we know that, but I don't know why no one says it. But, yeah. So you just said you work most of your life. Yeah, eight right? hours a day, and you're and prepping for an hour, come wind up an hour. Your job sucks, your life sucks. Yep. Yeah. If Man. your job's amazing, though, on the flip side and fulfilling doesn't mean it's easy, but if it's fulfilling and amazing, most of your life is amazing, even if the time outside of work is not mm -hmm. right. Your job has, in my opinion, has more more opportunity to impact you than almost anything. Right. Like yeah. it's just insane. So the whole reason we created that, that's why a job, a, a job yeah. to just get a check yeah. is very dangerous. And when you said sales change your life, like sales gave you guys choices. Yeah like choices now to, to, you know, you're now like give up some pride, take two steps back to go 10 steps forward, but keeping your pride, you can't go 10 steps forward. It's yep. physically impossible. You have to, you had to create an alliance with, with sales pros and freedom. You had, you had that alliance. Exactly. It's like back in the old days when we would go to war and we were going to go take out a kingdom, you went to the other surrounding, you know, castles and kingdoms. And you said, Hey, like these are, we, we're going to kill these people or we're yep. going, they're bad. They're raping, you know, <laughs> wives and kids and killing them. Yep. So like, we're going to go do something about it. Do you yeah. want to go with us? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, let's go. And then all of the villages came together and they wipe out something. Yep. And so that's what I see that's happening right now is that like, there's been so much bad blood and bad business and solar for so long and all this shit that finally it's all starting to correct yep. and yeah. it's going to get a little harder before it gets easier. And so like, that's what's yep. happening right now. And it, exactly. And for us, it was like, look, our mission statement is a sales rep experience. The whole reason we started this company was sales had changed our life. Was, we called the Meraki lifestyle. Like your job is a lifestyle. It's not, yeah. not just what you do to make money. And I was like, look, if we keep going and I keep trying to be the executive and be the CEO and all that, like, yeah, can we make it? Yeah, we can make it. But I'm doing a disservice to my guys mm. because they will be more successful if we just team up with solar pros. And Such if, a good if, leadership. Yeah, uh, if we just team it up. Lesson. And at the end of the day, don't get me wrong, I have to take a big step back right now. But I know in the long run, it will make me more successful. Right. In the long run, we will be more successful. And we didn't just come on as a dealer either because we had an opportunity, of course, with our size. We could be a dealer with freedom, of course. And a dealer is where you're running your own sales company. Yeah. And uh, I met with solar pros. And the thing I love about solar pros, I mean, first off, the character of the, of the leaders is amazing. Yeah. But the second thing is they're running on like the thinnest margins I've ever seen. I sat down before I was ready to negotiate. Right. I sat down and I was like, all right, this is how much money we need to run our, our, our dealer, right, our org. And then here's how much money we need to make. And I had it all all mapped out I sat down with them and the amount of money they were saying hey look this is the amount of money we're going to take in between you know the installer and in you to run the sales org it was less than it would have cost me to do it like significantly less like half super important guys if you're watching this video right now and you're like andy i'm not built like that bullshit yes you are okay got to train it's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are? In the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. I was like, so not only, uh, like not only to not have to run payroll, I don't have to do legal. I'm not responsible for all of this shit, but I'm actually going to make more money. You're going to be able to sleep. Yeah, sleep <laughs> at night, right? Yeah. Enjoy <laughs> so, the job. So like, I'm going to be able to uh, to literally do what I love. Your and wife's so, like, thank you. Thank heavens, yes, I thank know. God. I get I get my husband back. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and I was like, I can do what I love and what we love. Like, I got so enveloped in in having to run 
run operations and handle legal and handle the business side of the business that I, I was getting pulled away from what I truly love, which is just training teams like on how to do yeah. what changed our lives, how to be the, super the, the successful. People, the people side. Yeah. Exactly. Do listen. Um, I always say like the accounting bitch, she's not a bitch. <laughs> she just has to deal with problems all day. Yep. <laughs> so eventually she just doesn't like anybody because all she does is that when she sees someone, she knows that she's only seeing them because there's a problem. Yep. Yep. And that's like my wife, like sometimes she's like, everybody must hate me. And she's amazing. But she's like, because I'm like so quick to say no, 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 no. Because everybody else lives out here and like let's 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 and, and like let's make everybody feel good land and yeah. i deal in legal and payroll and 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 money and yeah. investment and, and 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 taxes and you know like in numbers it's a tough yep. landscape and 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 reality yeah <laughs> yep. okay because salespeople we're delusional no, dude, we are, oh yeah we're, we're delusional we can do it all and we, we're like Take riding over. on unicorns and shit yeah. right uh -huh. and then she is doing black and white numbers yeah. yep and you know, and sometimes you know, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And she's like, no, we're not doing that. And I'm like, she has to take me to reality land of of numbers. And so when you went to those numbers and you looked at them and they made sense, yep. and dude, you can get your your free mind back yep. to be delusional and have fun and dream again and and really grow because the numbers make sense. And by the way, it takes that magical chemical, what changed y'all's life to get you guys to that next level. Yeah. And so to bring him back out on that front side and to bring out his best work, his best passion, he wasn't made to be the CEO. He was made to be a leader. Yeah. But somehow someone had to take that position. Yeah. And so he learned it, he got it, he did good at it. It wasn't his favorite. And then, you know, eventually we all wait, we'll look up and we have this company, we have this these titles and we're like, that's it? Yeah. Like, this is it. Like, and then I honestly, like, I tell salespeople all the time, I'm like, you have no idea how lucky you are. I always tell somebody, like, promotion is a demotion. Yep. I'm like, don't, <laughs> don't get promoted. And, and by the way, like, that's why when people are like, I'm going to open my own, my own solar company, I'm like, dude, don't do that, bro. Don't do it, dude. Like, why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> like, your life is going good right now. Yeah. If you work for a good company that pays you well, they take care of you, you're, you're in a good place, like, stop. Like, yep. dude, just do more yeah. or work harder or enjoy your life or like get better. But like, don't, it's like people get this itch and they get bored and they got to go do something and they bury everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, it's like, you have to think about what are you, what are you actually after at the end of the day? Yeah. Right? What, are, what are you really looking for? Is it, is it the CEO on the title? Is that what you really want for? No. Or, or it's not, it's not what you want. And I want to emphasize all the solar guys out there. Like you guys, like look at what you truly want, what you truly love. I mean, we are not the CEOs. We have no equity. Like that's not like, it's, we have no equity whatsoever, right? We were huge. We Even at the transition, we had hundreds and hundreds of sales reps across the nation, four states. And we, obviously we had the opportunity to do our own dealership again. Easy, I've done it. We've done it for years and years and years. I ran a home security company for three years before I even did this, right? So I've, I've done it, I know how to do it. I could do it right now way better than 99% of the guys out there. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I, first off, the numbers just make sense, which yeah. helps, right? I'm going to make more money, which is amazing that I can do that without having to be that. Yeah. But also my life is going to be better because like I said, we work that's, more than we do anything. That's important, bro. So I will love my life like significantly yeah. more. I, I think, um, so let's talk about that real quick. So if you're, if you're uh, an individual, right, I'm going to say that because we're directly using some language that an individual rep that's wanting to get in the soul world is not going to be like, I don't understand what's going on. Listen, join the company. You make a lot of money. You have a great life. It's not a job. You're doing life with great people and they're Meraki Valley values, right? Yeah. Um, which is your team, if it, regardless of who's doing the installing and whatever it doesn't matter. Meraki life, right? Lives on forever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what people are joining, right? Like they're joining the Meraki lifestyle, which is your kids, it's God, it's family, it's the team, it's loyalty, it's trust. And in a world full of everybody betraying each other everywhere, you can actually join, you said the right company, yeah. the right vehicle. Like, look, dude, yeah. if you're not growing, if you're not making more money, if you're not getting happier, like maybe it's not you. Right? Maybe you did some stuff that's wrong, but maybe it's not you. Maybe you just need to be with the right people. Yeah. Like I've learned that, you know, like people are like, oh, that guy's a bad person. But you take a, that person, you put them with good people, 
usually people that are addicted to doing bad stuff get addicted to doing really good stuff too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that was me. I mean, like I was like not the favorite person, you know, for everybody <laughs> to have on their team when I was younger. But it was honestly because everybody just told me, you know, like, make money, make money. It's lonely at the top. I mean, so I'm yeah. thinking, it's if you tell me it's lonely at the top every day, I'm training myself to be a loner. Yeah. Yep. Like, I yeah. don't want to be a part of a team. But if I had a leader, it's like, look, dude, you can go farther with a team. You got to have a team. An individual can be beat, Andy, but a team can't be beat. You got to build yeah. a team. I'm like, God, I need a team. I need a team. <laughs> but so it's like, whatever they're brainwashing you on, who you're around, I mean, the stuff that's around you is what it is. So Meraki is like, the team it's mm -hmm. the culture it's the environment the Meraki environment is like he said like dude like take care of my family like you know yeah. max i know you're huge on taking care of your family and your team and your company and standards and values yeah. and and we're not perfect so if we mess up we just get back on track again you yeah. know like be the comeback kid you know and i, I want oh i say i want to hit on that too like just because we're dissolving, you know, that side of it, you know, the operational side of it, like in no way, shape or form does that change our mission, st mission statement. Makes you what stronger, actually. Yeah, it makes us stronger and yeah. better because now we can focus on specifically that. Yes. Like we're going from, we're going from half focusing on that or whatever to moving into this and a brand new sales job that's never done solar or sales. Like I did construction my whole life growing up, like all the way up until I was like 2021, 20, which is when I got into, when I got into door to door and I wasn't good at sales when I first joined. I wasn't skilled, right? But for me, what I was good at was just working my ass off. My my dad worked my ass off yeah. growing up as so I was good at that. And I tell guys, look, the money did help. The money, of course, helps in sales. And that's why I joined sales. But when I first joined sales, I was surrounded by guys that that loved, that loved the money of sales, but they, oh, I hate knocking doors. I hate grinding. I hate this. And I mm -hmm. kind of adopted that. But but after analyzing it, after being in a few years, like it doesn't just impact you financially. To be really good at this job, you have to develop an, an insane amount of like character traits yeah. that make you a better human, yes. a better person. And and that's a whole, uh, Mike said the same thing, been through the same thing with me. Like, and that's what we want to do. I, I, we pride ourselves on before we merged with freedom, like 90 plus percent of our guys didn't do solar cells before they came to us. Yeah. Like what we love to do is take a person, like, I don't care what you're doing. I don't care. I don't care if you're pouring concrete right now. Like I know how to take you and I know how to train you if you're willing and if you're hardworking, that's the yeah. key. If you're really, you want it, you have that fire we can make you successful. Like I can show you how to do this job because that's our passion. Like we love yeah. that, right? And if you're on a team, Solar Pro already, and you're already crushing in, in, sol in Solar, Solar Pros is amazing. Like I said, we gave up the titles, we gave up all the shit, we gave up the equity because they're the best. Like we wouldn't have done that if they weren't. They're the best by far. I love that. And it allows us to really focus on it more. Like. I mean, my whole job was to focus on sales previously, and it was just me, and probably 50% of my time was able to focus on the reps. Now, 100% of my time will be able to, 100% of Justin's time, 100% of Jacob's time. Like, sales reps today and moving forward with Meraki will get way more attention and help than they ever did in the past, and that's mm -hmm. why I'm saying, like, it's the best today. And, and it breaks your heart when you can't help your team. Yeah, it sucks. You don't have the time. You know it sucks. I mean, oh, it's terrible. You ever terrible. sit and you're doing your numbers, but then you're like, these guys are struggling, but you're like, if I go do that, then... Yeah. Who's going to do this? And the whole thing and then, so, apart. and then you know what you do? You just freeze. Yeah. Right? And then you go back and do your work, but then you see them fail and you're like, I yeah. just can't do anything. Damn. Yeah. Like, I've been doing this for all these years. I know if I show up, I know I can. It does. That, that exact moment happened a lot for Max, too. Like, even though he's the president of sales, he was also the owner. I'd say maybe 50% of the time made it to sales, right? And may, my, mine, maybe 20%, you know, maybe only 10%. And it happened a lot where I was yeah. like, dude, I know I've done this so long. I've built so many teams. Like, I know if I can go there, I could really make a difference. But you're right. You can't leave. If you're right, if you want to run a company, you better go ahead and like know that that's the life you're getting into. You're not going to be able to be out there. And, yeah, every you're not, night. You're not going to help your yeah. team. I tell people all the time. People are always like, I want to start my own deal. I'm like, listen, listen. Okay. No Christmas, no <laughs> Easter, no holidays. You start when before the sun comes up and you go to bed at 2 a.m. Yep. You you are, are you're back against the wall every day, all day. Everybody's trying to fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yep. People want to harm you. That's crazy, man. Uh, just, okay, you want to start your own business? Is that what you want? <laughs> no, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. That's, I mean, that's it. Like, I, I hate to say it like that, but like, go ahead. Yep. And, and then if you want to take that on, okay, and you feel like you can weather that, that's cool. 
But I would tell you that like with y'all's opportunity, like being able to put that to the side and then now everybody, I have a huge sales channel. So everybody watching this, um, you know, you talk about low six figure earning, mid six figure earning, uh, getting really good and even seven figure breakers, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, in the solar industry, uh, most of those guys that earn that money, um, they're not in the solar industry now. They're yeah. working really hard in construction yeah. or doing <laughs> yep. something, working in an AT&T store somewhere. And those people come over and they've never had this chance to, to find their way out. Yep. And so they're ho so hungry. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you hear us talking about this opportunity as an individual, right? So if you're watching this and you're like, dude, I'm ready to make more money than ever. Okay, that's you. Go down to the description box, click on the link, okay? And there's gonna be a spot where it says individual, fill out your information. Their team will reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you have a team, okay, if you're in the solar industry, if you've got a team and you're like, man, you know, I wanna make more money. I want my guys to get paid more money. Dude, I wanna grow. Like, that's it. Like, I'm asking you a question. Like, are you growing? If you want to grow, this is your chance. I'd love for Max and them to personally reach out to you. When you click on that link below, it's gonna say, I have a team, okay? They're gonna reach out to you in the next 24 hours, and they'll kind of run th through some numbers with you, and dude, it's a no-brainer. This is a day to change your life if you're wanting to get into sales with these guys and make a whole bunch of money, or you have a team and you're wanting to say, hey, what would that look like? Let's play this out if I was running with them. Go guys, fill that out below, click on that link. You guys, this is a time to change your life. I love you guys, fill that out. Let's get back to the video. Like they're the most hungriest people ever and they have no entitlement, they have no pride. Uh, they're ready to put in three years of hard work for a lifetime of choices, yeah. Yeah. you know? And those are the people that, to me, you're really looking for. I know there's a lot of people that are in solar right now and they're really good and they're like, look, dude, I'm, I'm, I've been through all those problems that you guys said, I'm experiencing those. And so if you, I don't have to deal with those problems now and I can just come over and sell and get paid, yep. you guys need to jump over now. Yeah. Yep. Like, well, Good. And that's why I wanted to come do this again with you because obviously last time we talked about the sales rep experience and why you should get in solar, why you should come work with us, and those are all still true. When when somebody joins, I, I tell everybody if you stick this out for a whole year yep. for twelve months, there is no reason you shouldn't make at least one hundred fifty thousand, like bare minimum. Easy. If you're making less than one hundred fifty thousand, you're either not working hard enough yep. or you're doing something totally wrong. Yeah. And then when you come and join, we're going to put a plan together to make three hundred thousand. Yeah. And my expectation is that you double. So. Yep. We should have a plan where you're making half a million dollars a year within the first year to, to three years. Right? Listen up, guys. So all of that is still true. Yeah. The thing that has changed is when we met with Freedom, mm -hmm. well, the thing that has changed is that it's going to be easier now for these guys. Yeah. But when we met with Freedom uh, originally, they didn't want to do this non this non exclusive thing because they're. Their over. value, their mission statement essentially is to take over the solar industry. Yeah. And they have You're holding firm to it. an yeah. obsession with everyone is going to join us eventually. Like, so no, I'm not going to be non exclusive with you because either you're going to join me today or you're going to join me in a couple of years when you have to. Yeah. And so, which is crazy. <laughs> and and when, when they were telling us this, we're like, dude, these guys are freaking nuts. Like, <laughs> that's not true. There's no way that that's going to happen. And then we go meet with them. We see the numbers. We see what they have. We see what they're building. And they didn't lie. And yeah, they, they didn't, didn't lie. freaking lie. You know, oh. and so we walk away with, like, holy shit, they're right. And so, obviously, we jumped in extremely quick we met with them we made the decision within the week and yeah. we're all in when because you know, you we know. see it we see the vision yeah. and that's what i would tell everyone else like whether you're a sales rep today whether you're running a team whether you're running a whole solar company like we were yeah. you can choose to join them when you want to on your choice right mm -hmm. for your choice or i truly believe you can join them when you have to and that could be <laughs> this month that yep. could be next year i don't know but I'm let's convinced that to. their vision yeah. Yeah, is is going to come to reality. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah. so let's make the choice, and that's why I brought Justin, you know, here today. Obviously, I want to get him on here because he was the CEO and owner of Meraki, but he's got the numbers down. Like, if these guys are running solar companies out there, they're running dealerships, they're looking at their numbers, they're looking at financials. Like, we're as transparent as it gets. Just hop on a call with us. We'll break it down exactly why we believe that vision is going to be true, and yeah. we can show you. Look, dude. You're gonna have to join. <laughs> if yeah. you want to stay in solar, you're gonna end up joining them like, eventually. Well, we did over. You know? We did over two hundred million dollars in revenue. Like, if you're less than that, for sure. Uh, how I like to look at the solar industry is like, look. Before it was a whole bunch of these little market stores around where you could go and you could buy like some food or some clothes or whatever. And there's just hundreds of them, right, all over the place. And they're all competing. And then Walmart came in, yeah. right? And Walmart came in. And you're like, 
dude, you can't compete with it. You literally can't compete with it. They own their own farms, right? They, they produce their own food. Like you're just not going to be able to compete with it. And yeah. they're going to, it, they always, we talked about it forever. Everyone knows this in the solar industry. Like, oh, the consolidation is coming. It's coming. It's, it's happening. It's here. The, there is a company that has done it, right? There is a company that has taken over their own distribution, their own giant distribution centers with like hundreds of trucks. They're buying their own equipment yeah, from their own manufacturing. Right now. Like yeah. they've, they've done it. They did what we talked about forever, which we knew was going to happen. And you want to get in early. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm yeah, because you want to get in early like you guys are doing because you get in early. Um, not only are you making more money now, but as other teams come over, you know, you, you're able to actually help them. And if you care about your people, right? Like yeah. that's the main deal about being a leader is that you, you, yeah. you can't be selfish anymore. And I did want to hit on that, too, because you'd mentioned like, look, if you can weather the storm, all that. I'm like, look. I know I can weather the storm. Like, I know I have what it takes You're to built run a for company. This. I was built to run a company. I love that kind of stuff. I know I can do it, and I still chose to do it because maybe you can. Maybe you can run a company. Maybe you can pull it off. But what do you care more about, running that company or, or your team? Yeah. Right? And that's why we did it. It's like, look, we can keep running this bad boy. It's not going to be as good for our team. Right? That's right. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm super that's passionate your life. about. And it will make me more successful in the long run. I genuinely believe that. Like, yeah, can I do that? I will, long, in the long run, actually be more successful too this yeah. way. And my team will be more successful. We've had guys, multiple guys, that honestly were kind of struggling or, or not doing great. They've come over and just taken off since we since we joined them. Like, well, our top rep, I mean, I can, I can call him out. You know, uh, Cody Mitchum was just, he's just absolutely destroyed it since we came over. He was originally one of our number one, like, historically at the top, and he's just doing triple what he was doing before. And we have a lot of reps that have done the same, and it's because they have the offering to these customers that they didn't have before. It's like yeah. having more ammo. Yeah, right? you're and, weaponized like a yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah, and I can be on the phone with him now, and I can call him up, and, like, we can, I, I can be there to support my guys. Like, I just got done in Dallas meeting up with a, with a team that joined us just yeah. barely. Yeah. I was meeting up with them, and, look, I've learned a lot of stuff, a, a lot of stuff in the years and years I've ran a company, you know, and, and managed teams, and I was there just working with them, and they're highly skilled guys out in Dallas. And I was going over like, hey, look, you have sales skills. It's amazing. I have scaling skills. I know how to grow teams quickly, mush, smash them together. And I think they're going to destroy it now. They're Dude, crush it. Um, you know what I was saying? And we'll, we'll, we'll end on this for everybody. It is a superpower in business to be able to see around corners. Mm -hmm. It is. Okay. Most people can't. Yeah. So there's, remember what I said, there's a, there's, there's a corner. And if you can see what's on the other side of that corner, you're dangerous. And you guys see what's on the other side of that corner. Yep. And a lot of people don't. And they're going to get around that corner and they're going to be taken out. And a lot of people are going to get hurt. They're going to get hurt. It's going to be it's going to be a mental mind screw like you've never wanted to be a part of. Yeah. Um, it's not good for your families. It's not good for the team's families. And here we are. It's 2024 time we're shooting this midsummer. It's the best time in the history of the world to be involved in the solar industry as long as you're in the right vehicle. Right. Yep. That's 100%. notice there's there's an addendum there and it says as long as you're in the right company. OK, because if you're in, it doesn't matter anymore that you're in. Two years ago, you could just be in and everybody got paid to be in yep. four years ago. You're in. You get paid to be in. Maybe even last year you could have got away with just being in. Mm -hmm. It's not that way anymore. All these companies are going out, cash flow, interest rates, banking, financing, uh, just just. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just gone. Where there's this big storm over here, and then you guys got there's, and then there's those that have their shit together. Yeah. Yep. And so you, what you want to do is that you want to see number one realize solar is massive. I think they said seven seven percent of the United States have solar or something like that. It means like ninety three percent of people don't have it. Right. Yep. Okay. That should holy have. cow. Right. <laughs> then they should have it. So we're like, okay, wow. Like we need to get this out there as fast as possible. Okay, cool. Let's get in this vehicle. You don't even have to be great at sales nope. to be in solar. You just got to work hard. Uh, yeah, you just got to work hard, like you said, and then just learn a little bit of the education, right? Yep. And be a good person, which yep. is like. I think it's easy. Um, and then you want to do life, right, with good people, and that helps you become a better person. Um, everybody watching this right now, make sure you know this. Number one, it's a superpower to see around corners, okay? I want you to see what's around this corner, all right? Taking care of your family, crushing it like never before, joining a great organization, really, truly building your best life right now and for a long time to come, like knowing that you don't have to worry about, like, what's next. Yeah. Like they've already played the next 15 chess moves for you. You just join, get paid, welcome to your new life, your new family, and then grow with them. And Let's that's go. it. Yeah, so if you're if you're an org, you're an organization, you're a dealer, 
If you have a team, make sure you click on the link below. And I want, and maybe you want to talk to Justin. You're like, hey, I want to talk to him about the numbers. Like, let's run through this. Yeah. Cool, done. We'll, they'll, they'll do that with you. They'll jump on a Zoom meeting with you. They'll run you through everything. And then in the end, it's your decision. And if you're an individual rep and you're like, dude, this is awesome. I work for a solar company right now. I want to be like with this and you're in the solar industry, boom, get on that individual link. And if you're not in the industry right now, but you're like, dude, I've sold stuff before. I love customer service. Most importantly, I'm a hard ass worker and I'll do whatever it takes. And I love these guys. I can see their hearts. I can see what they believe in. I want to roll with these guys. I want to go to the top with them. Okay, cool. Go down and click on that description box. Answer those questions. Make sure you fill out your information right, your phone number, your name, your email, and they'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. So I uh, love you guys, Let's go. Man, Max. I always, I've been with Max for a couple of years now. First time down that I got to yeah. see you, but I always see you in Florida. So um, they're great kicking to be ass. Here, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they're Thank kicking you. ass, guys. Uh, make sure you guys go down, fill that out. Okay, don't hesitate. And then let's kick ass. I love you guys. If you know someone who's in the industry and you're watching this and you're like, dude, I need to share this with my buddy. Cool, man. Share the video, okay? Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's for somebody else, okay? But if you believe in it, share it. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Nice, cool. dude. I love cool. it. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. It was Solid. good. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.